Hi, this is Rod Ward from InfoSemantics, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about Adobe Captivate templates. And you may remember in a previous tutorial, I introduced you to the Captivate template that I use when I'm creating projects for my clients. However, uh, just in the last week, I've been working on another project using the template, an updated version of my own template, and I've discovered some issues that I felt I should make you aware of. Just to show you what the issue is, I'm just going to open up again my uh, template, so my Adobe Captivate standard template. This one is the Captivate 8 version of the template. This is a template I've, I've used and reused many times over the last uh, several years. Now, if I go up to my Project Advanced Actions tab, as you know, my project template has quite a few advanced actions and variables built into it. So here, if I look down the list, I can see all my advanced actions, and there's quite a few of them there, but notice there, that all looks quite clean. And if I have a look at my variables in my project, and I've got dozens of variables created to support these advanced actions, uh, I can scroll down here a little bit, and you see there, there's all my variables listed. Most, most of them are regarding the main menu slide that I've got built into this template, and I'll be explaining that in a different tutorial. However, let's say I create a project from this particular template. So I'm just going to go File, New Project, From Template, and I'll choose the same template to create a new project file. This is fairly standard. This is what you would normally do in uh, Adobe Captivate. Okay, so here I have a project that has been created actually from this same template that I've also got open on uh, in the edit area here. But now if I go up and have a look at my project advanced actions, look at what I see. My advanced actions have been duplicated. Instead of just the one action, I've got now another action with the same name with underscore one after it. And that's all the way down through. Numerous of those, many of those actions have been recreated or duplicated, not just once, sometimes twice, in this particular version of, of the project file based on that template. And if I go and have a look at the variables that are in this particular project, notice the variables have also been duplicated. They've got numbers after them. And some of those variables are not just duplicated once. There's one some that have duplicated two extra times, making three variables in total. And down here, there's even a variable that's been duplicated nine or ten times. That's creating quite a mess, quite frankly, and it makes the whole process of updating your projects uh, or creating projects from your templates in Captivate 7 and Captivate 8 a bit of a nightmare. The, pro the problem did not exist in Captivate 5, 5.5, or Captivate 6, 6.1. It's only crept in with Captivate 7 and Captivate 8. So this is a real bummer uh, for anyone who is a, a developer. Now you might think, well, okay, this is fairly simple. All I have to do is just delete out the um, advanced actions that I don't need. So I'll just select the one that I, I don't want and I will just delete it. However, no, as you see there, I just tried to delete one and it's telling me that this script or this advanced action is used by one or more events please clear the references before deleting. So which events are they in? So if I go down and look at the usage tab, it's telling me that the actual event that it's talking about that's preventing me from deleting this is in the project template, not in the, prop in the file that I've just started, but in the project template. But here's the problem. The project template is not actually linked to this file. So I can't delete something in the template from here. So that sort of means I'm stuck. And the same thing happens if I go into my uh, variables dialog. I find some of these duplicate variables and I try to remove them. It's saying that uh, variables used by advanced actions can't be deleted. So I can't delete them either. I can't clean up this mess from uh, the project file. So that's a, a huge issue. Now, rest assured, I have notified Adobe about this. Whether they will do something about it uh, in the next update for Captivate, 
is uh, another thing. I'm kicking myself for not having discovered it earlier, but I just didn't need to use the template to work on a project for a client until just now. And so consequently, I didn't, didn't see it, didn't pick it up. And apparently, neither did a lot of other people. So hopefully someone out there has actually alerted them before me and we'll see this something done about this issue. So what can we do? Well, for those of you that were um, downloading my template from the last tutorial that I gave you, you'll be happy to know that I've actually put up two new versions of the template for Captivate 7 and for Captivate 8. Those of you that are on 5.5 or 6 don't need to worry about changing anything or re-downloading your template. But if you had downloaded the CP7 or CP8 version of my template, there's uh, another zip file up there that I'd like you to go back to that same tutorial last week and download it again. Uh, in that particular zip file, you'll find not a CPTL, but a CPTX of the template. Now this is a, a normal Captivate project file, but I have the um, a set to read only so that if you try to um, open that up and then forget to save as, it will remind you that you can't save it. You have to save as to a different location. So you can use that CPTX as if it were a template. So it doesn't have some of the advantages of a template, but at least it doesn't have this huge disadvantage of duplicating all of your advanced actions and all of your variables. So I hope that hasn't caused you too much trouble. Um, and the next time that we, uh, we give you a tutorial, hopefully it'll be a little bit more positive, but that is a major problem that I wanted to alert you to. Thanks for listening.